are you? I'm uh, Susan Sun Lillemaker uh, with sunisofuture.net. I'll, I'll give you the uh, card a little bit later. Okay. Uh, what was your name? Raymond. Raymond? Yep. Raymond. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about your vehicle? Yeah, How so many people work on it? Uh, there's a, the team we, we work with a team of 11 people. Uh -huh. Yeah, then we come up with this car with only two, within two months from nothing to this car in two months. It's only two months. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very rush job and we actually yeah. managed to do very well. Uh -huh. Yeah, we get a pos we so qualified with a position of 11. 11. Oh, yeah. So tomorrow we start on position 11. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Well, so how, how many are you starting on the first stretch? Or No, start, starting at the same time, but then those that qualified first was get to start first. Those fastest car, faster car will start first. Yep. Ah, right. So how fast were you able to go with the Nanyang team? It's 100, 10, 120 kilometers per hour. Oh, that's yep. Cool. yep. And uh, what about the, um, um, let's say, how long did it take you to go through the scrutineering process? How long? Uh, a few hours. Uh, it's very similar to all the teams, but relatively it go quite smoothly. There's uh -huh. uh, some small details that we need to touch up, and yeah. Were they very flexible in terms of letting you touch up and? Yeah, they're very flexible. They can like you know they tell you problems, you sort up. I think they really want every team to participate in this race, you know. Yeah, yeah. Even with those new teams that just came in and didn't really know a lot of things, they did tell them a lot of things and help them but to join this event. Ah, this event. So it's very cooperative, everyone yeah, is very good. Yeah, yeah, it's not so strict, but it's just to conform to the safety standards, which what I feel is that it's very important, especially as road trains and everything. So what kind and how many of the solar cells are you actually using? We're using 403 cells of SunPower C50. Yeah, they got a 22.6% efficiency. Yeah. Six, yeah, but yeah, but we we're actually not sure after encapsulating it how, how much it is now, but it's probably a bit slightly lower. Yeah. We are still testing it and getting data from it. Yeah. Oh, what type of solar cells are you using? Silicon. Okay. Yep. And uh, have you gone through uh, various uh, types of solar cells before you decide on this one or is it pretty much that's what you started with? Yeah, that's pretty much what we started oh. with. Yep. Okay. Right, yeah. How did you find out about this uh, uh, solar World Challenge, the car race, here in Australia. Just the my previous previous actually this is the second time they came here. We came here, Nanyang Tech came here. Um, this is the second time we participate. So the first time they actually found out this event, you know, they are very excited about it and they start building a car on it to join this event. And this is the second time you're participating in it. Can we get a closer look? Yeah, okay. Can Can you come? Be careful. And uh, can you go ahead and explain a little bit? What each component maybe if this is this is the battery. This is the battery. It's made of 444 Panasonic cells. Yep. Then this is all the suspension and the covers for aerodynamics. Then this is all the yeah. These are the MBDs which pull power from the solar cells and charge it to the battery or the motor. Yep. It's a front wheel drive, two rear two free rear wheel vehicle. Yep. You mentioned somebody else from your team was uh, participating in previous race, right? Yeah, the previous race in 2009. 09 is our first time that uh, Nanyang Tech actually joined this event. And so far, we are the only team from Singapore that ha have actually participated in this event. Yeah. So it's always two years, once every two yeah, years? once every two years, yeah. So, uh, there's some changes, right, regarding the battery management system or the... Um, And actually, the the requirement for the uh, solar cells, isn't it? Is it? Um, yeah, yeah. There's some changes because uh, the previous year, mo mo some of the teams, some of the top teams that use the better grade, the satellite grade uh, solar cells, right, actually exceeded the speed limit wow. quite a lot of times. Then it, so they feel that it's actually quite unsafe. So they actually cut down the number of cells for those. So that reduce the surface area for those type of cells. That's yeah. Then that that's cut down the speed and also increases safety. In the expect also in and they revise the regulation to improve safety and more practical of solar car. The, I mean the practicality of solar car you have to increase more like getting out unassisted and everything. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Good luck tomorrow.